This house was 3D printed in a week, partly from waste, including material from old, demolished buildings. And this is the world's first 3D printed community. Two houses have already been printed, with 50 planned in total. They will be available to people living on less than $3 a day in a bid to fight homelessness. And the use of printed buildings is now being seen in Europe. Germany just certified a printed house under its national building regulations, paving the way for the planning of a whole 3D printed apartment block in Bavaria. This is all part of the fourth industrial revolution, which could bring some major upgrades to your future home and perhaps your body. This is from our sister channel, Digital Engine. This is Wollenhausen, the largest 3D printed building in Europe, with five apartments over three levels. The printer that made this structure can be operated with just two people. It can print at up to a meter per second. The printer that created Wollenhausen and others like it print in concrete. The Vulcan 2 3D printer takes just 24 hours to print a 200 meter house. This printer called BOD2 can print three story buildings. These flaps deal with the sausage wall problem that otherwise requires finishing by hand. And this printer looks like a sci-fi robot spider. It rapidly spins walls around itself based on your designs before letting itself out through a door. And the Hadrian X can build a house in three days. It's mounted on a truck for easy transportation with bricks moving through a 30 meter telescopic boom. Adhesive is applied and the bricks are laid precisely, constantly adjusting for any wind or vibration. The printer can lay a thousand bricks an hour. That's around two days work for a human bricklayer. Printed buildings mean major advantages, not only for owners, but also for the environment. This design by Italian company Wasp features an outer shell printed from agricultural waste, like straw and rice husks, which are also used for insulation. 3D printed walls allow more flexibility to optimize heat and noise insulation. And Wasp says this building won't need heating or air conditioning, as it naturally maintains a comfortable temperature throughout the year via passive cooling and heating. The total cost of materials for the outer shell is just $1,000. And multiple printers working together can be used to build larger structures. Researchers recently created a soil-based material designed to replace concrete in printed buildings. Soil and plant cellulose can both be sourced from the local area. The aim is to replace concrete, which accounts for up to 8% of all greenhouse gas emissions from human activities. A main ingredient in concrete is cement, and processing cement and then mixing the concrete requires huge amounts of energy, mostly from fossil fuels, and builders must then transport it over long distances. Construction accounts for 39% of all carbon emissions in the world, so more energy efficient building methods are urgently needed. And 3D printing also promises to cut costs. Printing a home in 24 hours for half the cost, 50%. That's kind of the overarching goal here at ICON. And it could help with the rising housing shortage and homelessness crisis in countries like the United States. 567,715. That's how many homeless people the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development counted on a cold January night in 2019. How does homelessness happen? It could be domestic violence, returning from war with post-traumatic stress, losing a job, or having a health problem, the leading cause of bankruptcy in the U.S. The truth is, the leading cause of homelessness is the lack of affordable housing. People are not earning enough money to pay for the housing that's available. Los Angeles, the home of some of the most desirable zip codes in the country. 
But right at the heart of this wealthy metropolis exist conditions that have been described by the city's own newspaper, the Los Angeles Times, as a national disgrace. LA has one of the highest rents in the nation. And the reason why I come there's so many tents out here is because people can't afford to live in a house. For every 10 of the lowest income renters, there are only four apartments that are affordable to them. And around 60% of Americans are just one paycheck or one financial shock away from being homeless. For many, the coronavirus pandemic was that shock. But the world is coming up with creative solutions. A German company has created sleep pods for the homeless, offering a warm, safe place with solar-powered lighting. And this is a popular idea, but it's far from proper housing. In the US, this project aims to house 40% of the chronically homeless population in Austin, Texas. After years of homelessness, 70-year-old Tim Shea became the first person in the US to move into a 3D printed home. He said it saved his life and it was phenomenally beautiful. The village is expanding to house 500 homeless people and offer them work. We create micro enterprise opportunities for our neighbors to earn a dignified income doing things that they love to do. We have a car care business, an art house, a pottery operation, a blacksmithing shop, a wood shop, and a full blown organic farming operation in Long Island, the first 3D printed house to go up for sale was printed in 48 hours. Everything to feel about it, it is all traditional, but it's built by a robot. The concrete home has three bedrooms, cement closets, yep. two baths, a detached garage, sliding glass doors, an arched timber ceiling. And this is the first printed concrete barracks at an army base. It was built in less than two days by the US Marine Corps. Normally, it would take five days and 10 Marines to build a wooden barracks. Having concrete buildings on demand is a major advantage for Marines and will help in humanitarian and disaster relief missions. 3D printing could also mean more creative building designs, like these, which may soon be available to rent in Eindhoven, or this winner of the Freeform Home Design Challenge or these houses that look alien-like for reasons that we'll get to. Dubai aims to be printing a quarter of its new buildings within five years, cutting labor costs by 70% and other costs by 90%. This is one answer to the current shortage of construction workers. The world is expected to have a shortage of 440 million urban households by 2025. That's 1.6 billion people in need of a home. 3D printing could help solve this looming housing crisis. And 3D printers will transform more than our homes. The fourth industrial revolution blurs the boundaries between the physical, digital, and biological worlds. Printing metal enables strange new shapes that would be extremely difficult to create any other way. So what we have is the ability to very quickly create shapes that are very strong and lightweight, where basically the cell mass is distributed only where it's needed. In the drive for efficiency, industrial design may increasingly mimic biological design. It's not like you tell a computer, make it by a spired shape. It's that you tell a computer, give me the most efficient shape, and the shape that you're getting looks bio. The global economy may also be reshaped. Instead of shipping parts from many different countries, products may be printed in one location, reducing both costs and environmental impacts. And NASA plans to put this to good use too, avoiding transport of building materials to space by printing buildings and other products on Mars. Printing with special thermoplastics would allow buildings to be melted down and converted into new objects and structures. The shape of these buildings helps ensure they don't burst open from internal air pressure, which will push outwards on the structure more than the thin Martian atmosphere pushes in on the building. Another approach is to 3D print the shell for a compound. This scout bot uses ultrasonic sensors to find suitable printing material before deploying dig bots to crush and collect it. 
A scaffold of inflatable tubes forms a structure for the shell to be printed over. And fuse bots then use microwave technology to fuse the collected material into a solid layer. Once the shell is complete, astronauts can then arrive with lightweight, prefabricated pods that they can put inside the shell. In fact, the rockets that will carry the printers may also be printed. This is the first large part that we made, which was a fuel tank. Normally, getting a tank of this size um, in like aerospace or rocket quality um, would take you well over 12 months. How long did it take you to make this? Uh, it's like seven days of print time. And printing doesn't stop with inanimate objects. Some companies are exploring 3D printed lab grown meat as an alternative to our current industrial agriculture. But perhaps the most profound frontier is the printing of human body parts, from ears and arteries to whole organs. <laughs> The first one here is a, uh, an artificial heart valve, and it's forcing fluid back and forth, and that is an artificial blood vessel. It's actually meant to be a carotid artery, like in the neck. The basic process is similar to printing plastic toys or concrete buildings, and is even run by similar software. Human skin could be printed to test chemicals, develop medicines, and heal wounds. Ceramic ink is being used to print bones, with plans to print directly into patients during surgery. And this was printed using living cells. It mimics lungs, including blood flow. Scientists are working to recreate this complex vasculature. The lungs were printed into soft, protective hydrogels layer by layer using light from a digital projector. And scientists have used a patient's cells to print a miniature human heart. The cells were reprogrammed, first becoming stem cells and then cardiac cells. They were then used, along with collagen and other material from the patient, to print a complete heart. The next stage is uh, to mature these hearts to provide electrical signal and to have a synchronous contraction or pumping ability of the heart. And uh, in a year or two, we hope to uh, take these uh, hearts and transplant them in uh, small animal models in rats or uh, rabbits. It will take some time to go from a small size heart into an entire big heart. We still have a long way to go, but we are very optimistic. And printed organs could save the thousands of people who die waiting for an organ transplant. They do face many challenges how to keep the tissue alive and healthy when it's not in a body, how to get it to hold its shape against gravity, and how to get it to function as a whole organ, like in the case of the heart, how to get it to beat. If human organs become cheap to mass produce, do you think we'll use them to renew our bodies and extend our lives? Next, we explore why these robots dance and whether Elon Musk could be right that super intelligent AI is just five years away. You can watch now, the link's in the description.